Hello. <laughs> What's up everyone? We are going to be doing my desert skincare routine just to show you like what I do and some other tidbits. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet and we're gonna go ahead and jump into at least the morning skincare routine since I just got out of the shower and my skin is in desperate need of hydration. Um, I got this. I was, this was like influence purchase. Someone like bought this off of Ulta years ago and I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. I have to be on my tippy toes because I've tried messing up the tripod like way too many times and I'm just going to give my thighs and the part of my butt workout. So first thing I do is I spray my face with La Tourra um, Glacier Water Daily Facial Toner. Um, Just because our face needs everything that they can soak in and while that's like soaking in I'm actually going to whatever this is called uh, with my eyebrows because they really need to be done and now my eyebrows are no Picasso okay but you know at least try to make them look good and I have a little tissue here to wipe off like the water and the toner it just kind of really feels like water um, and so it doesn't rust freshy poo for no one but myself I'm not gonna do too much to them they clearly need to be seen by a professional okay now that everything's set in for the most part I'm going to be using this clindamycin phosphate topical lotion um, I've suffered with acne my whole life, like have gone through many different things, even Accutane. And even now, like while it's not as bad as it used to be, I still get breakouts, especially when I'm stressed or I'm not doing my skincare. So I still add a little bit into my trouble areas, which tends to be like down here. As you can see, there's like a lot of redness from like scarring and i just have skin that scars easily so the best way to like get rid of them is to prevent them and then because these scars are like under the skin because it's like i don't know i think it has to do with because i'm pale um they just take forever to go away and i'm also putting it on my nose um just to help reduce like the little fallacious fallacious filaments like the sebum filaments on my nose, which can get really annoying. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been getting little breakouts because of some of the treatments. So, we're just gonna put that on. While we're waiting for like that to set into the skin, I'm going to apply my eye cream. Right now I'm using the Maison Collagen Power Firming Eye Cream. I just turned 24 a month ago, um, almost two months ago. And um, I'm starting to get forehead lines, and I don't know about you, but I'm trying to prevent everything. So I'm using a firming cream underneath my eye. So I do just dig my finger into it, like my hands are clean. I mean, they have acne stuff. But, um, I just put a little bit, like I don't try to like dab it in all the way because I'm one of those people that uses one of these handy honky dory things and I'm just gonna use like the, the little side to just roll it on. Now does this help with slimming your face and all of that stuff? No, but I like the coolness of it. Any puffiness I do have, um, just it helps, it feels nice. You know, it makes you spend a little bit more time on your routine, which you know, normally I wouldn't do, but it just takes up more time out of your day and we all have that extra time to spend anyway, so why not? If there is any benefits, then I'm doing it, and if not, it just feels nice. And sometimes it's good to feel nice. I also take it on my eyelid, not too much pressure, because um, my eyelid, uh, <laughs> my eyelids, sometimes uh, they get dry randomly, like, my, uh, yeah, my skin's very random when it comes to like eczema patches, dry patches, little hives and stuff, so. Okay, it's been a few minutes and now my 
little acne topical treatment has sunk in i'm gonna go in with a serum this is a well this is the la roche posay hyalu hyalu b5 serum And I had heard somewhere that like hyaluronic acid doesn't really work with um, like desert climate because there's no moisture and that's what hyaluronic acid basically like does. It traps moisture from the air and puts it in your skin. And I mean, we're all inside. The AC like puts a little bit of moisture back into the house. It's only really like outside that there's no humidity. And I found that this one actually has been like really good for um, this Arizona triple digit weather so um, I'm also gonna be using my jade roller I do find that with a jade roller like the application of this is better than like using your hands but you don't need to spend the money if you don't have a jade roller I just like this better with a jade roller and again going back to the thing I don't know if it actually helps with like the deep puffing of the skin but it feels nice and then I don't know this one just is kind of sticky so it's nice not to get it on your hands and I'm just gonna roll away with the big side so bring it down on this chin to help with that double chin if this does help with the depuffing don't know if it actually does but I like to do it anyways in hopes that it does like even getting like these corners of my ears because there was like this one random time that like I got like really dry cracked patches it was kind of bizarre it was like during this time of year it was like uh, maybe 2018 I think so I make sure I moisturize back there and I haven't had it since so hmm. a moisturizer I found that works with like this combination and like still works with makeup and it also provides just enough moisture and it's not like too heavy is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. This with the La Roche-Posay Hyaluronic Acid um, has been working great for me. It doesn't make my makeup ball up because um, when I first got here and I'm just going to apply three pumps and this one I do use my clean hands. Um, when I first got here like my skin well, I was coming from California, there's a lot more moisture than here. So my skin went through like a freak out. And so I was going ham with the moisturizer and I just couldn't wear makeup because it, there was, it was too heavy. And also I'm gonna take it down my neck, but in upward strokes because a down is wrinkles. So upwards i think i learned that from like paris hilton or something someone like did her makeup and she said that and i'm like that's genius <laughs> um but i found that like that one like the clinique different blah blah lotion plus with a serum really it's just enough moisture for daytime and okay for under makeup and right now it's fine sometimes if i feel like extra like I have the time and dedication I will spray a little bit of the Marat Marat Mario Badescu uh, facial spray the pink one I know like some people are against it because they say it has fragrance and it dries their skin out I don't I haven't always used it but I never found that that was the case so that is my morning routine Ah, so we are doing just a little chat chattiness. I have my iced coffee. I know this is a plastic straw, but I wash them and reuse them. And because, like, we have them here, you know? And, um, yeah, but that's not the point. So, one of the things about living in the desert, slash, also living in the valley. So, I used to live, like, in a place where there was moisture, humidity, and I had like a semi-dry scalp. And then ever since, you know, I moved to college and all of that started in August, basically, um, I've been in like a dry area, even when I was still in California. I lived in a valley and it was just, there was hardly any humidity. And I can tell, and of course now that I'm in Arizona right now and there's really none 
or just hardly any if there is any but again none dry everything my scalp has been flaking up like crazy and i had gotten it to a point back in college where it was like manageable but here it's like going out of control um i have extended my wash days to like every five days because i don't want to over dry my scalp but it's still very itchy so i was gonna order almond oil online but then i'm like oh you know i could just find it at target so i am going to go on a target adventure later get out of the house for a little bit probably buy some other essential like food items that i need um and just apply that on my scalp before like wash day and hopefully that helps i saw like lydia lee's millen do that and she does that and she has like scalp psoriasis i think um and like castor oil like irritated her scalp and i was like okay that would probably irritate my very sensitive scalp so i'm gonna go with almond oil but i don't want to like place an online order for it when like i don't need to put at risk that many people when i could just go get it at the store myself so we're gonna go do that but i'm gonna go do that once the sun goes down because it's like 100 degrees outside but right now i have a mario badescu rose hip oil um just in my scalp sometimes i use that on my face um but i haven't been using it just because i finally found like a good skincare routine where i don't necessarily need it um this very second so i just applied probably like about a quarter of the bottle into it so into my scalp i poured a quarter of the bottle like into my scalp and hopefully that starts the healing process but again i think almond oil is going to help a lot more because it tends to be more nourishing for that area i don't know about you but sometimes like focusing makes you so tired or it makes you like really hungry like the only way you can concentrate is food so you know that's that's the way that you gain the freshman 15 also um and i'm not one to speak because i've definitely ballooned up but i'm going to show you guys how i make my banana smoothie which is enough to like keep you like concentrated while you're doing stuff because i have like add and it is so hard for me to concentrate and i do have like natural stuff for it but because i'm not actually at school i don't want to take it I just want to save it for like when I need full concentration just because since I'm not going to class and stuff and due dates are a little bit different I have more time to sit and focus but what does help is like food and chewing gum but you know there's also a problem so I'm going to show you my healthy smoothie that it takes a while to drink but it's enough to like oh like I don't know it helps me it's weird I'll show you Intermission for the cooking show da 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 Anyways, so we're going to take our um, blender. I have an old school blender. And crushed ice is easier when it comes to smoothies just because you don't get lumps. And this is like super basic. This isn't anything like wow, but I just decided to show you. So I'm going to get crushed ice. So I use about that much smoothie for moi. I'm going to get the banana. I have two very tiny bananas here if it was a bigger banana i would just use one so the equivalent of this is like a big banana and a half which is fine because as i was like a dancer slash i'm still dancing it's great for like my joints and stuff just because i don't know you can crimp very easily and dance by what you're doing especially if you know you got unused to it because I used to be like intense and now it's like mild, which is fine, but I had a very long break and you know, it helps to not get cramps too. I'm gonna take some milk. If I was at my own apartment, I'd be using almond milk, but because you know, I'm not gonna make my parents buy my special milk, especially because now there's an extra mouth to feed, um, I'm just gonna use regular milk, it's fine. And I don't even like do measurements, I kind of just like eyeball everything. I basically just do it until like the ice is covered and the milk is with the bananas i don't know and last but not least i'm gonna put 
a splanch of like vanilla extract. Um, just a little secret. Again, I don't even measure this. I kind of just eyeball it depending on how much there is. That probably was a little bit too much, but it's fine. Actually, it's not fine because vanilla extract is expensive, but I like it. Sometimes if I'm doing it to others and they're not necessarily like smoothie, like healthy people, I will add like a packet of Splenda and it just sweetens it up a little bit for them. But I like just plain bananas. The vanilla extract gives it a little kick. And now, me smoothie. And again, because everything's all chopped up, like the ice, the bananas, it's very short. It's not going to be lumpy. It's smooth. And now I can pour my banana smoothie. I usually serve it in like this giant cup because it fits everything. But have you ever heard of the banana smoothie song? <laughs> I used to work at a kid's clothing store and I'm going to get downloaders so you can see. And they would have the same songs on like a loop of an hour loop. And every time the banana smoothie song came on, every time I would make banana smoothies, I just have to sing the song. And if you're watching and you're my roommate, then you know the song by heart. But it's like, Cut up a banana, put it in a blender, and shake it all up, shake it all up. Cut up a banana, put it in a blender, and shake it all up, shake it all up. You got a banana smoothie. Banana smoothie. Apparently it's from Big Time Rush or like some Nickelodeon show I didn't watch because that was like when I had just like grown out of watching like Nickelodeon and Disney Channel and all that stuff. But apparently it was like on a show or something. Not Big Time Rush. That's the one with the four boys. It was the other one where it was like the Wolf Brothers. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not going to look it up. <laughs> but my banana smoothie recipe so this is the oil i ended up getting at target i couldn't find just regular almond oil but this is the closest thing that i um found it is ali k ali k naturals it's called a hair growth oil but i'm not really looking for it to you know grow my hair out i want it the nourishing um nourishing aspect to it and i think this was made by like some vlogger influencer rochelle graham um, so that's cool, but the ingredients, where are they, is doo -doo -doo, olive fruit oil, corn oil, uh, the third ingredient is sweet almond oil, and it also has sunflower seed, jojoba, just things that sound like it would really nourish the scalp, so this is the one that I went with, um, and I'm just gonna use it and eventually report back eventually um how this is doing my one only gripe is that like that's how the bottle is like i don't know if it leaked or if it's missing product or if it really just comes like that but i think that's kind of disappointing that it's not filled all the way but it was the only one there so i picked it up nighttime skincare routine okay so i don't spray my face with toner because i just washed it and sometimes toner can be a little i don't know just mm. Not really, but I do use a serum and I have it in a dingy like plastic bag because this is Lush something Grace. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll definitely like put the name up. Um, and this is what I use for nighttime and I have like the newer one and then a bunch of pieces of an older one because it got too thin. But with clean hands, I basically just, oh, and I just dropped a piece. I basically just rub, warm it up because you can't really just, it has to be warm. You can't just like put it on. Um, so I just use like the warmth of my hands. Since I put on acne stuff this morning, I'm not going to put any tonight just because I don't want to dry out my skin even though it's already dry. So usually I would put like morning and night, but because we're like I'm just in drier weather. I kind of just pick depending on what my skin needs. But this one I just rub in because it is a little bit thicker than the hyaluronic acid one by La Roche Posay that I use in the morning. And then I just stick it back in the bag. Um, it'll eventually go in the little tin that I have, but something else is um, using that as its home. So again, just putting it on my neck, 
because you can't neglect your neck and your decollete area and don't mind my oily hair I have rose hip oil in it um, because of things that I mentioned in the video earlier eye cream still gonna use the same eye cream um, it's fine as long as like it doesn't have retinol to use like the same one that you use morning and night eye cream is one of those things that it's just like a heavier moisturizer so unless it has like like I said retinol I don't see like why you should have more than one or a very expensive one unless it has like one more time anti-aging properties but um, I'm not using the little jade roller just because it's nighttime like don't need it for the massaging let's feel good unless I was like masking but I'm not for moisturizer I'm gonna be using the Caudalie Vino Source it is a lot heavier than the dramatically different moisturizing lotion it's what I have right now so it's what I'm using um, so very thick but the point is we want a very heavy layer of moisture when we go to bed so as it wears off throughout the night because like you're on your pillow um, there is enough on your skin to repair itself again making sure you get up close to the hairline and back here in the ears can't neglect those areas either and voila if my skin needed a little bit more help i would put on the mario badescu rose hip nourishing oil this is just what i have i actually used a whole bunch of it in my scalp today because this was prior to getting almond oil for my hair um but it's fine if anything i did use this when like my skin was adjusting to the weather and i definitely used it in the winter time and last but not least just the little spritz of Mario Badescu. Again, don't come for me because I use this. We're in triple digits. It's nice to spray something, okay? Okay. That is my nighttime skincare routine. If I was using acne stuff at night, I would have used the, I would have used like tretinoin, which is retin-A, which is a retinol, which they have like adapamine which is different gel like at the drugstore which is a much more mild version than this which I would say is a great way to start with your retinols because it's like a distant cousin of this um, and then work your way up if you need to of course you need a dermatologist with this but a lot of people find that adapling does work I have used adapling in the past but I my skin had already been used to this so I just used that but that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out with me and seeing my desert skincare routine. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!